Well, I would like to thank everyone for being here, and it's my pleasure to officially announce the upcoming July 28th fight card at Sky City titled World Championship Boxing. One Remember Promotions prides itself on putting together competitive boxing matches, and the fighters here in front of you today will definitely live up to that. On that night, you will see David Proa from Albuquerque. David Proa comes to us with an extensive amateur background, record of 44 wins, two losses, and 30 KOs. He made his pro debut at the beginning of this year on one of the cards that I had. I would like to go ahead and invite David Proa up to the mic. Hello, I am David Proa, as you all know. I'd like to say a couple things, give some shout outs to uh, Mr. Sigala, Nicole Sigala, Roberto Proa, and of course Juan Romero for having me here. All I want to say is thanks a lot, and um, I hope to give you guys a great fight. Thanks. Also on that card, we have an individual by the name of James Fryer who is 19 years old and also has won several state and regional titles and has been boxing since the age of six. James is ranked as high as third in the U.S. in the amateur division. Like I said, James will be making his pro debut. James. Hi, I'm James Pyre. I just want to thank my family for coming and supporting me over here. Thank Juan Romero for giving me this opportunity to fight, show you guys what I got, and I want to show you guys a good fight, so thanks. Next up, we got an individual from Nova Scotia, Canada, um, Halifax, Nova Scotia, now living in Santa Fe, Steve Canal. He has an extensive amateur background also and uh, loves New Mexico. Steve. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited for my, uh, my debut, and I want to thank Juan for the chance to fight on the card. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Daniel Lanny Gonzalez. Daniel has fought on a couple of cards here at Sky City before, and he'll be fighting again. Uh, currently, he's 2-1 with two KOs, and uh, he'll be fighting Gabe Montoya from Santa Fe. It would be a good fight. So, Daniel. I want to thank uh, all you guys for making it to this press conference. And I hope you guys make it to the fight. It's going to be an exciting card. Um, experience with uh, being in Juan's card. They've all been perfect and excellent. And it should be, you guys should check it out. It's going to be nice and it's, you're not going to regret it. Thank you. And we have a special attraction to the belt. We have an individual by the name of David Archuleta, who is a current world K1 champion, making his pro debut here in Albuquerque, well, at Sky City in Acoma, for the very first time in boxing. So like I said, he's a current world champion in K1 kickboxing. So, David. Thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, Juan Romero, and I'd also like to thank uh, Mr. Sigas for letting us his dojo, the training, and uh, of course, Z-Coil for the excellent shoes. Thank you very much. Um, my name is David Archuleta. Uh, I'm the current United Kickboxing Federation light middleweight world champion. I'm hoping to make, well, I'm gonna make my debut in pro boxing for the first time ever. So uh, I'm looking forward to working my way up from the bottom and making my name for self, myself in the boxing sport. And uh, I just want everybody to come check out the fights on um, July 28th because it's gonna be excellent events, of course. And I can't promise any you know, knockouts or anything like that because you know, all I can promise is I'm gonna do my best to knock out the opponent. 
and um, I'll go down swinging if it, that's what it takes. So everybody, please come out. Thank you very much. Next, we have the current U.S. NBC champion, Walter Way, Joaquin Zamora from Santa Fe. How's everybody doing? First of all, I'd just like to thank God for being my strength and savior. Thank God that you know, he's brought us all here safe and everyone's good, doing good, and he's taking care. Uh, well, I'd like to thank Juan Romero for giving me an upper, another opportunity to fight Sky City Casino. I'd like to say thank the Casita themselves for you know allowing us to have another fight there. Uh, thank my whole team, my teammates, my trainer Al Lovato, everybody that's helped me out, supported me through thick and thin. Uh, can I say I'm just ready for another fight? My opponent is uh, Jose Bermejo. He's from San Jose, California, and uh, I don't really know too much about him, but he appears to be he's gonna be a puncher, a tough fighter, and. Uh, I know he'll be ready, but I know I'll be ready too. So just come out and enjoy the fight, and uh, I'm sure it'll be a good one. Someone's gonna get knocked down, I'm sure of it. Just have a good one. Thank you. And before I now announce the main event, I would like to go ahead and share a conversation with you that I had with Monica when I first met her. When I first met Monica, I asked her what her goal was in boxing. And when she was telling me what her goal was, I can see the passion and desire in her face and in her eyes about becoming a world champion. So I have done everything possible to make that dream a reality. And on July 28th, she has the opportunity to show what she has to become a world champion. So Monica Lovato will take on former world champion, Melinda Cooper for the super flyweight IBA world title. Everyone, Monica Lovato. Thank you everyone, thank you everyone for coming out today. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank, um, thank Jesus for keeping myself and my teammates safe, bringing me this far, uh, bringing all of us this far. <clears throat> i also like to thank Juan Romero, the promoter, and Sky City Casino for making this fight happen. Um, I've fought several fights under Juan Romero. He's a great promoter, he's given me a great opportunity. Uh, July 28th will be um, one of my dream come trues, God willing. Um, I have many people to thank for believing in me, being there for me, and guiding my path. I started boxing in March of 2000. I started training at a woman's place boxing gym, um, who the trainer was Irene Garcia, who trained former world champion Trina Ortegon. When she retired, I went to train with Fred Esquivel and James Pyre. Um, <clears throat> I also did some training in Dayton, Ohio, when I lived up there with my father. When I decided to turn pro, I moved back to New Mexico. Um, I did a little bit of training with uh, Pat Holmes, and um, then I met Mr. Al Lovato, who is my current trainer. Um, I met him, he's been training me since my third pro fight. <clears throat> Every fight has been a learning experience for me. It's been, um, it's been really great. I never, I never thought I was gonna take boxing up as a full-time career, and um, here I am today having the opportunity to fight for a world title. I can't tell you what the outcome is gonna be, only God knows that. But I can tell you guys, I'm a little bit nervous. But um, my trainer and I, my teammate, we've been training. We're training really hard for this fight. I take this seriously. And um, as you see all these gentlemen here, since I'm the only female, that it is gonna be a great, great show. All these fighters, um, Joaquin, my teammate, always puts on a great show. Little James was um, just a little kid when I was training with him, and now I feel very old. But <laughs> um, anyways, you know, I'm, I'm making dreams come true. Um, you know, I like to thank all my, my parents, my mom and dad. I'm the only child. They've um, brought me this far. I like to thank all my family and all my friends for supporting me, um, my community, my Espanola Valley, where I come from. Thank all of them for supporting me and for always being there for me no matter what. Um, like I said, this is the biggest fight of my life. I'm nervous, but I'm, I'm ready. I know it's going to be a great fight. Thank you, everyone, for the opportunity, and hope to see you all July 28th.